Um, Richard Dawkins defends killing disabled babies and abortions. It's about avoiding human suffering. So what he's trying to say here is, he actually said this in a tweet, abortion to avoid birth defects is not about eugenics, it's about the avoidance of individual human suffering. And so eugenics is the idea of being well born, and the idea that you get rid of those. Well, that's exactly what he's born. doing, though. It, eugenics. Well, exactly. That's exactly what it is. You can call it whatever you want, but that's that's exactly what it is. So he's. And he says it's about avoiding birth defects, but no birth defect has been avoided. You've simply killed the person who carries the defect. Bingo. Like yeah. it, 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 his statement isn't even accurate in the slightest bit. He, here's what he says to people who um, know that they have. Uh, a baby developing in the mother's womb that may have some genetic defects mm -hmm. or, or whatever. Down syndrome, I think. Um, the maybe he, they even mentioned Down syndrome here. Here's what Dawkins says: abort it and try again. Which is consistent. I mean, with his, with his world worldview, view. it's survival yeah. of the fittest. So the, a child with genetic defects is not fit, so they should die. And we're just animals. Get yeah. rid of spare cats, get rid of spare kids. Mm -hmm. What's the difference, you know? And it's interesting here, too. I was thinking, because uh, it, it, the Dawkins um, and, and what he's saying and so on, I, I was thinking, well, what about if people said, Richard Dawkins, you know, you're getting older. You're going to suffer soon because you're getting older. You know, old age people go through all sorts of problems. My mother is 90 years old and in her 91st year, and she, she's got lots of physical issues, you know, and, and so on. But why shouldn't we say, well, Richard Dawkins, because you're going to suffer, we need to get rid of you now. Yeah. Right, yeah. Where, like, where, where do you draw the line? What's the standard? And of course, he, I'm, I'm sure he would support God's euthanasia word. anyway. Well, it's oh, inconsistent. Probably, yeah. You know, it's yeah. always inconsistency. Someone and, here in the comments said Dawkins can avoid human suffering by keeping quiet. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but one of the things, too, I should point out, one of the things the author says is, well, you know, people that have um, children with genetic defects often find that these children are a real joy in their family. And while that may be true, we need to remember that the reason that these children should be born is because they are image bearers of God. Mm -hmm. not be, they may not bring a lot of joy. They may bring a lot of heartache and suffering. But the point is that they are made in the image of God and they have a right to life because of that. Well, yeah, and no abortion is killing a human being. Right. Yeah. It, it is murder. You know, I was mm -hmm. thinking too, think about this for a moment. When Dawkins said the whole reason for him saying saying you should abort these, these babies and so on is to avoid uh, a suffering, individual human suffering. Dawkins has also said that teaching children about God, about the mm -hmm. Bible, about Christianity is child abuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if people started saying, you know what, they're Christians, they shouldn't be allowed to have children because they're going to be abused, because they're going to be taught about God and the Bible. So to force them uh, to abort their their children. Right, right, like and where do you draw the line? Where do you draw Again, the line? Without exactly. God's word is the standard. Without an abs when when Life you when you just valuable have a foundation that man determines truth, we're just animals, no purpose and meaning in life. Whoever's in control draws the lines, like yeah. Hitler drew the lines yeah. of where he wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. um, and That's the problem when it's man's opinion and not yeah. God's ultimate work for deciding life. Everyone does what's yeah. right in their own eyes. 